world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. They're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. It seems like you've got a nice thing going here. Enjoy it, buddy. We need four more dogs to get started with our training team. We have seven stops left. I'm sure we'll find the pups for us. Looks like the next kennel is just up ahead. Let's see who's there, Jumper. Uh, Slayer? I'll, uh, give you your distance. Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it. Your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears, too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole cover. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. I can't say for sure I know what's gonna happen on this trip to the cabin. Sounds like it should be pretty straightforward, but I know nothing is. So we'll just try to follow what we think is right. Well, Slayer, what do you think? I've got a good pup with me too. I think you'll like him. Maybe once we're settled, I'll come back for you. Great meeting you, Slayer. You're right, Chopper. You can't do this on your own. Oh, hey, our next stop is here. I'll go see who they have for us. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gale, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. I'm not sure I'm ready for you. One day, I hope I am. Sometimes you just have to be patient. We'll find you a good buddy, Jumper. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay. It sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home. We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good for both of us. All right. What do you think? It looks like you've got a pretty good life here. It's great meeting you, Barkley. I just can't decide. I'll have to leave it up to Fate Chomper. The next four dogs we meet will make up our pack and our new family. I know they'll be the right ones for us. Igloo! Where are you, girl? You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Oh, are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy, <laughs> loud. So, your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. We've got a new life to start. 
you seem ready to be the wall we need if we get into trouble. And we'll all have each other's backs. Well, you know, you can't rush things. It took us a while to find our first pup, but I'm sure the next three will be perfect additions. Looks like we're nearly at the next stop. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... I'm looking to become a champion. I know I've got to get started and learn the ways of Alaska first, but... I've got long-term goals to think about. I don't know if I want to lose sight of them. I suppose we're not just out here to race. I mean, we're not even racing yet. We've got to figure out how we plan to live out here. How we plan to support ourselves. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey team, I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chomper. Finn is joining us from a family from way out here. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chomper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there, but you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. I don't know what's gonna be out there. I know what I've read and what's likely to happen, but if the past few years have taught me anything, it's that I can only plan to be surprised and do my best to adapt to what's in front of me. We'll follow you to the surprises we need, because we all know we'll need food once we set up our new spot. Well, you ready? Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. You mind if I give you a pet? Okay, well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. Oh, I'm so happy you are such a good match. I mean, we knew we'd find the right ones for us. We just had to be patient. Actually, the right pups find you. Don't they, Chomper? Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who would listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. Are you ready for the retired life? Or are you just waiting for someone to believe in you again? Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Ready to go meet the rest of the new team? Well, welcome to the van. This is Chomper. He's a city pup, but he's ready to get out there and learn how to become a sled dog. You ready to help us train? It sounds like you weren't too big a fan of indecision last time you raced. So you decided which way to go if your driver didn't? And that I should trust you when I'm not sure what's best. I'm more than willing to defer to you if your instincts are sharp. I trust that you're a smart pup noodle, and I need help with more than running. But you can't just lay down in the middle of the trail, okay? We've got a new life to start. And once we're home, I'll build you a nice little den with a perfect nap zone. How's that sound? All right, you're right. Rest up. We've got plenty of running ahead of us. We're really building a great team here. All right, our final dog is just up ahead. You wait here. Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. 
Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well... Yeah, I think he'll be a great addition to the team. Okay, I know I barely have enough food for all of us, but that's part of the adventure, right? We're gonna find our food. We're gonna live off the land. Just imagine it. With food spilling over the sides. We'll show everyone we can handle this in the long winter ahead. And now that we've got you, I have no doubt we can carry it all home. We only have to worry about ourselves out here. A big reset button for all of us. We get to start something new. Become someone new. I feel like I'll like Wilderness Me. She believes in herself. At least, she does right now. And I believe in you, Bodega. That's why you're part of the team. I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't wait to get to know y'all better and let you do what you love most. Run. <laughs>